Hello, this week's tutorial is how you can take any photograph that you've taken and make it 10 times better using Photoshop. We're gonna turn this picture into this via a few really simple and quick steps. So here we go. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and we're gonna make any photograph zing in Photoshop via these uh, few really simple techniques. So here I have a photograph um, that I took down in the New Forest in England and it's just, I've used it on purpose because it's just a normal standard picture the, uh, and it's not too gray, it's all right. So. Um, we're going to show you how you can improve it in Photoshop really quickly. The first thing you want to do is sharpen it up. So you go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and these are the rough settings that you want to set it to. 80%, the radius is 1.2, threshold at zero, um, and that's sort of like your average settings for uns unsharp mask. You can set it higher if you want to, but please be aware that uh, Photoshop will not sharpen a picture that you've taken out of focus. Um, it's good, but it's not that good. Um, I'm just gonna show you the effect of that at 100%. So if I type in 100 here, press enter, and I'll just go over to the kind of tree there. Now that's before, and that is after. I'll come down a little bit so you can see. That's before and that's after. So that's just sharpening up uh, the picture. Let's press Control and zero to get it back to full screen. Now the next thing that you want to do is uh, zing up the colors a little bit. We're gonna do that by adding a vibrance adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click vibrance. I'll bring that down here. Take your saturation up. Um, now you don't want to go too far because I mean it will look too unrealistic. Uh, between 15 and 20 uh, is quite good. And then take your vibrance up. Your vibrance is really good. It's a really good tool because it looks for areas that haven't, that hasn't got much color and much depth and it tries to, and it puts a bit of vibrance in it basically. Um, so I'll leave that there, 25 and 19, that's quite cool. And then the next thing I want to do is put a bit of contrast into the picture. So I'm gonna put a, a curves adjustment layer in. Um, you can use a brightness contrast if you want to, um, but I'm gonna use a curves adjustment layer, which is there. And if you add in a simple S curve, so something like that, you can really bring out the contrast. So that's before the curve and that's after, before and after. Now I am losing it a little bit in the sky there. So I'm gonna bring back the highlights um, before and after. Yeah, that's quite good because I get it really nice down there like that. So already we have gone from that to that, uh, which is really quite good already. But we can enhance it even further. Again, we're gonna use curves, but this time we're gonna select specific colors and enhance them colors. So I'm gonna go curves adjustment layer. I'm gonna select, uh, let's select blue. Now, obviously what I've got now is uh, the, just the blues in the image. So if I go up like that, it really makes the blues um, it enhances the blues, and if I go down like that, it takes away the blues. Now taking away the blues actually adds in yellows. So that's really quite cool. So I'm gonna add some yellows in the highlights and bring up the blues there so it doesn't lose too much in the shadows. And if I pull that down a bit there, now what you can see is right there, I've, I've added some yellow. Um, and it's, it's enhanced that yellow in the sky. So that's really good. I'm gonna have a look at some reds. So I'm gonna take the red curve. Uh, and that doesn't look that good. It looks all right. So I'm gonna put a little bit of red in to the highlights and I'm gonna pull it out 
of around here because I don't want it around there. So that's what a curve does. The top part is for the highlights and the bottom part is for the shadows. So I've took the reds out there and added some more reds in here. So again, that's not looking too bad. I'll have a look and see what the green curve will do. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll put some greens, I'll pull them out there. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulling the greens out of the highlights, which is the sky. If you look, pulling the greens out of the sky, but I am still keeping the greens in the uh, foreground, which is what I want. So look at that, that's really good. So I can have, you can see that's hardly affecting the sky. So I'll have that like that. And yeah, I'll go down a little bit like that there. I really like what happened there. That's before and that's after, like that. Okay, let's go back down to here. If I hold down the Alt key, and click on the eye symbol, it, it hides every other layer. And that was the original, and that's with that adjustment. And like I said to you before, you can make every picture that you take 10 times better using them few simple techniques. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it makes your pictures zing. And if you want more, then follow us, follow us on all of the social medias that we've got, uh, subscribe on YouTube and all of them kind of things. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and look forward to seeing you again.